Hey, what, what is going on guys? This is Cloudy. Today I'm making this video to teach you guys how to make money to buy Supreme. Now, I'm going to be giving you four methods that you can use. Now, these methods are not supposed to be like isolated. You can combine them all so you can make the most amount of money to buy Supreme. But let's get into the first one, which is the most obvious one. Just get a job. Now, this is by far the simplest method. You have to go work a job and in exchange for the job, you get money and use that money to buy Supreme. This is probably the most ideal scenario. The only issue is that a lot of people are probably going to school right now, probably are too young to get a job, or maybe just don't really want to work a job because they're lazy, kind of like me. Except that I have to go to college and I'm really busy with college, so it is a bit hard to get a job and go to college at the same time. Now the next method is another obvious method and it's to resell. Now reselling is really not that hard. All you have to do is get a set amount of money. I recommend at least 50 bucks because you do want to have enough money to copy t-shirt. That is probably the most ideal scenario. Get 50 bucks. I would really advise you guys to be able to get $200 because then you can cop a lot of stuff. You can get the t-shirt, the shoulder bags, and you can really start a decent money flow starting after week one. Now all you have to do is get the money, buy hyped items, resell them, and then use the money you made from the reselling to buy items that you actually want to keep. The really crucial thing is that you always need to keep money so that you can buy stuff to resell. You do not ever want to spend all your money because then you'll have no money and you'll have to get some more money before you can start the cycle again. So the money that you put aside for the reselling, you do not want to spend on stuff that you want to keep. You want to spend the money that you made from reselling on the stuff that you actually want to keep. Really basic method for you to get the stuff you want. This is really my main method of making money. I am able to get a lot of stuff I want by doing this, so let's get into the next method. Now the next method is to create a rotation of items. This is something that I think is really, really good to do on top of the reselling. It really lets you get a really, really good flow of items coming in and money coming in. Now what I mean by rotating items is, is that you buy items such as t-shirts, you get a good amount of wear out of them, you wear them a good few times, you know. You wear it enough that you feel satisfied with the item, and then you flip the item. This is really good for a lot of items that go up in value, such as like, let's take an example of the Mona Lisa tee. I can buy the item, I can wear it like a good amount of times, and I can still get more money than I paid for it after I wore it a few times. This will create an illusion of you having a lot of items, especially if you take pictures of them and put them on your Instagram. And then once they build up, it'll look like you have a lot, a lot of items to wear. But in reality, you're just refreshing the items with new items once you get your good wear out of them. Good thing about this method is that it really doesn't take a lot of money because you're just refreshing the same amount of money over and over again. And you're probably making some money on top of it too. So I really like you get a lot of items to wear. The only bad thing is that you really don't get to build a collection of you doing this. You just have a bunch of items to wear and it's like a trade-off, you know, you really have to decide what items you actually do want to keep and what items will you want to rotate. Now the next item is another method that you can do on top of the other two methods. This one is a little bit less ideal because it does require some money and it is to invest in items. Now the bad thing about investing is that these items will just sit there and you won't have money in the rotation that you can spend on items that you want or items to resell. But the good thing about this is, is that you can really make some extra money off items that do not resell for a crazy amount right away. The items I think are the best for this is the backpacks or the t-shirts or the any bags in general. Bags, t-shirts are the best items to stock up and invest in and then start them later down the season because they really tend to increase in value. These are really all the methods that you can do to make money. There are probably a few more out there. You can leave them in the comments down below to help each other out. Maybe even help me out because maybe I do not know them. But there's really no secret way to make money. It is you really have to put some work into it. You have to resell or just get a job like I said. You can't just like you know, poop out money. If for some reason these methods cannot work for you then I would say that you're honestly in a pretty hard spot. I do not know how to help you because this is really all the methods you can do to make money. There is really nothing else you can do. There's no way to magically make money out of nowhere. So that's all for what I want to say. So if you have any comments to leave down below or to help people out of anything you want to say, just leave them in the comments down below. I appreciate every time you guys leave comments, I read them all and I usually try to respond to them. And that's all for this video. So you guys did enjoy the video. Please drop me a like down below. I appreciate every single like you guys draw me. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. I'm sick of all the bullies, sick of all the classes. I am done dealing with all of the bitch assness. I am not a cool kid. I am cool cool if you ask them. Grew up outcasted, happy never lasted. Cruising 99, Aurora be the avenue. Fiends up and down the block searching for Bag it so